hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have 4 to the power of 10 minus 4 to the power of 8 so here we need to write this term into the lowest form without using the calculator so remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem so here i can do all of the working in uh, in your mind or in your paper so uh, here the very first step we are going to do is first uh, we need to focus on the base of this term so we have this is 4 to the power of uh, uh, 10 and we write it as 4 to the power of 8 plus 2 we break this 10 as 8 plus 2 minus this is our 4 to the power of 8 and after that here we apply this exponent law we know that if you have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so here we can apply this exponent law uh, in the first term so here uh, our first term is written as in this form uh, this is 4 to the power of 8 multiplied by 4 squared minus this is 4 to the power of uh, 8 and now after that you see here we have uh, 4 to the power of 8 be the common term so that we take common 4 to the power of 8 and we have the remaining terms are 4 squared minus 1 and now we write this 4 square as 16 minus 1 uh, sorry this is 4 to the power of 8 into 16 minus 1 okay now this 4 square equals to 16 and this is our minus 1 uh, so uh, we have that uh, we get 4 to the power of 8 multiplied by 16 minus 1 equals to 15 okay so further in the next step here we need to focus in on the base of this term so that this base is 4 and we write it as 2 square and its whole exponent is 8 and it is multiplied by 15 so now you see here we have exponent to the exponent so these exponents are multiplied by each other and we will obtain here 2 to the power of 2 times of 8 becomes 16 and it is multiplied by 15 okay so now uh, here we need to focus on 2 to the power of 16 term so that we will write this 2 to the power of uh, uh, 16 as in this form uh, we break the 16 and we write it as 2 to the power of 10 plus 6 and it is multiplied by 15 okay so after that here we need to apply the exponent law and you know that uh, if uh, we have uh, a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so here again we can apply this exponent law and we break uh, this term this is 2 to the power of uh, written as 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 and it is also multiplied by 15 so here our uh, next claim is to find the value of uh, uh, 2 to the power of uh, 10 and 2 to the power of 6 so that here we write this 2 to the power of uh, 10 as 2 to the power of uh, uh, 5 and its whole square we write this 10 as this way because you know that if we have exponent to the exponent then these exponents are multiplied by each other uh, so uh, we write this 2 to the power of 10 as in this form and after that we have this is 2 to the power of 6 and it is multiplied by 15 okay so further you see here uh, we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 5 and 2 to the power of 6 and so here i can uh, explain you a little bit uh, nice method in which you easily get the value of 2 to the power of 5 so you see here if you have 2 to the power of 1 it is equals to 2 if we have 2 to the power of 2 it is equals to 4 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8 it, it means that if you focus on the right hand side terms uh, so in order to find the each next term we need to multiply the previous term by 2 so we have 2 times of 2 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 and 16 times of 2 becomes 32 and 2 to the power of 6 equals to 32 times of 2 becomes here 64 okay so now you see here we need these two values so we can substitute this 2 to the power of 5 equals to 32 and we sub it will becomes 32 whole square and we know that 2 to the power of 6 equals to 
64 and it is multiplied by 15. So further in the next step here uh, we need to uh, uh, focus on the base of this 32. So we break this 32 as in this form. Now we write it as 30 plus 2 whole square and it is multiplied by 64 multiplied by 15. So here we can apply the algebraic formula you know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. So according to this nice formula we can write our above uh, expression as in this form. So we have this is 30 square plus 2 times of 30 into 2 plus 2 square and it is multiplied by 64 multiplied by 15. Further in the next step uh, we have this uh, we know that 30 square becomes here 900 and plus 2 times of 30 becomes 60 60 times of 2 becomes 120 plus 2 square equals to 4 and it is multiplied by 64 and 15. So now in, uh, in the next step here we need to add these values by using the traditional method of addition. So when you add 900 plus 120 plus 4 it will become 1024 and it is multiplied by 64 multiplied by 15. So further in the next step here we need to break this 1024 and we write it as 1000 plus 24 and it is multiplied by 64 also multiplied by 15 so now first we need to multiply 64 uh, and we write it as 1000 plus we again break this 24 and we write it as 20 plus 4 here i can do all of the working on this page because calculators is not allowed so that we can do this problem uh, in very simple or easy way in which you can easily do all of the simplification okay so now we need to multiply 64 on each of these terms so when you multiply 64 by 1000 you will obtain here 64000 and plus uh, here we need to multiply 64 by 20 uh, then uh, when you multiply 64 by 20 uh, we will easily obtain here 1280 and plus uh, here we have uh, uh, 64 times of 4 equals to 256 and it is multiplied by 15 okay so uh, now here uh, we need to uh, sum all of these values by using the traditional method of addition so when you can add all of these values uh, you will obtain here 65,536. This is the uh, usual uh, addition. You can learn this type of addition in your primary classes. So I hope so you, uh, you can do this type of uh, addition. And now we need to multiply this number by uh, 5. Uh, so that in order to multiply this number by 15 uh, so here we need to uh, break this 15 as in this form 65536 we write this 15 as 10 plus 5 uh, so when you multiply this number by this you will obtain here 65536 and 0 and when you multiply uh, this number uh, by 5 then you get here it is equals to 327680 and now here when you sum up these two values then uh, you finally get the answer of this problem is 9830 and 40. This is the required simplification of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.